Now, in order to know why I'm farming all of this wheat, we need to go back a little while. Because I've been busy for the last couple of days working on, well, many things. And let's start off with the base. Well, I say the base. The house on Sahara Street. As you can see, it's no longer blank walls and nothing else. I have spent a long time detailing that, and I actually time-lapsed the whole thing. So, let's play that really quickly. You've seen me build this house last episode, but it was so undetailed that I needed to do something about it. So, I went and added windows everywhere, loads of trap doors, but what you don't know about this kind of time-lapse, this represents like 20 or 30 seconds of the video. This took about two hours to do. And you know what's really annoying? I tried to use scaffolding, but it's so fiddly to try and place it in the right way that I ended up just going back to using dirt scaffolding in the first place. Anyway, I think that went pretty well. Hello, my name is Green and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. But building that house is not the only thing that I've been doing. And it still doesn't explain why I've got so much wheat outside the main village. The reason is actually fairly simple. I have been gathering wheat to make bread. And I've been needing bread to feed all the villagers. Because I have repopulated the village for the second time using this thing and my goodness it has spawned in so many iron golems seriously there's iron golems out there that have wandered about there's one two three four five six seven here they're all naturally spawned but guess what most of the villages have vanished again it's unbelievable seriously these villages do not last very long there's one guy here that's still remaining that's great i think there's still a couple roaming around but I'm still yet to figure out where they all go. Like, there's one here, and there's one over there. I released about 20 or so, and... What the heck? <laughs> uh, looks like there's a villager stuck in here. The Salman house. Oh, it's not even a door. Oh my goodness. No way! <laughs> I think he's stuck. Is this the salmon ghost making a return? Oh my good. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to disturb this guy. This is hilarious. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure what to do with this because I think he's going to be spinning on this pickle for a really, really long time. That is amazing. And the fact that you can see him from, like, any angle... <laughs> so there is uh, officially more iron golems than villagers here but there is a few roaming around which is a really good sign but it looks like yeah more more breeding has to happen i must say that the 114 village really is growing and it is it's really becoming a, a really cool little micro community like, all the hermits obviously have all the blocks that they need to build anything. And that's just great. Another thing that I thought I would do while I was here... Oh, I've got a visitor. Green, you got a friend. You got you got a friend. Hold on. Bread? Do, do you guys want some bread? Rendog says, yo, G. Hold on. Another thing that I did was I went mining. Oh, yes, it's happening. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna keep repopulating in here. Why not? They're not going anywhere. I mined a load of diamond ores and there's a quick time lapse over there. I didn't last particularly long, but you know how I feel about diamonds. There's something about this particular block that's just magnificent. So let's see how many diamonds we get out of this. Oh, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. 43 diamonds, not bad. That, oh, the child can totally open doors. Excuse, excuse me. <laughs> no, bad. You're just like your dad, you are. <laughs> well, there goes that idea. But at least, you know, I could just keep throwing these guys bread, to be honest. That's why I got all this wheat in the first place. So the, I'm basically going to have to keep up 
with uh, giving all of the villagers loads of bread so that we can keep the population high enough to sustain itself. If we lose all the villagers, that's it. Oh, that was That's a good little top up for my diamonds. Well, we've got some of the villagers here. They're all sleeping over here. Maybe I can just give them bread ahead of time. They should pick all that up. None of the villagers are sleeping here anymore, so this is this is a wreck. Well, since we're still the biggest house on Sahara Street, I don't feel any inclination to build any more on this because I'm actually really, really proud of this one. I think it looks magnificent. With all of the details now added, uh, dare I say it, this is like one of my favorite builds of the season. Like, maybe not my main base, but it's really refreshing to build in a different style. Whereas Mumbo, he's gone for, well, he's gone for the same style that he's been doing the rest of the season. I've really enjoyed this. I love the way this all fits together. But as we close up the rest of this little farm here, because I'm gonna need as much bread as possible, I actually think it's time to head back to the old lands and have a little meeting with either Mumbo or Iskal or both of them and we need to work out what exactly we're going to do for the grand opening of Sahara because as far as I'm aware it works we just need to open it. Let's head back now and see what's going on. Holy moly! Zuma's been doing some work. That looks amazing. The way that this looks, like with all the skyscrapers beginning with uh, scaffolding, this is amazing. So last episode, we set up the red ribbon in order to get the, what the heck? I made this red ribbon for the grand opening. It's coming soon. But it looks like there's already a line. Oh my goodness, what's this? So that, there's Falsey, first in line. Then there's people saying, why is it taking so long? Then there's a family of phantoms. <laughs> I'm bored, mummy. It's like when a big corporation releases a new product that people are really excited about, or like a new book that everyone's been waiting for, and they line up outside overnight. That's exactly what this feels like. I think Sahara has has uh, done its job of creating some hype. But as far as I'm aware, there's still potatoes stuck in the system. So I'm just gonna leave that for now. Right, hopefully I can get hold of Mumbo and Iskal and we'll have a quick little meeting to decide what to do. Sahara is brilliant. What yeah. <laughs> does that mean? It's oh. brilliant. It is brilliant. I mean, what what do you mean yeah. by what does that mean? It's Look around. Have you not seen it? Well, I know that, but yeah. from a technical report, I don't know what that means. Does it mean it's working <laughs> completely and flawlessly? It just means that it's brilliant. <laughs> also, don't actually read that book. I lost the real book. It, this, this. Oh, part. see, now here's. Oh. See now, right? Okay. <laughs> I mean, you, you're coming in here. You're blasting us for our tech report writing but you don't even have the decency to keep <laughs> hold of the tech report well, I'll I mean, have this, you know, this, this book <laughs> has exactly the same content as the oh. one that we had so well okay so sahara is brilliant okay and i think we remember i i think i think we said that it was going to be finished soonish as well um which was suitably accurate i would say um yeah there was a few problems but we've we've patched well i've patched up some of them iskar has been doing some work as well uh, i think i think sahara is now Fantastic. Th yeah, I, I can Fantastic, totally get is behind it ready? that. Is it Fantastic. ready? It is. I love, I love the word fantastic. You know smashing what? This, is this tech well. report really, yeah, this really does say everything. Here you are, look. <laughs> Take a look at that. <laughs> it's empty, isn't it? It, it, it? That's what he's going to say, isn't it? <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> I'm not even going to read it. <laughs> it says and but for starters, <laughs> and it just yeah. says but. That's all it says. For goodness <laughs> sake. I found it in the iTrade Center. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Yeah. So why don't we go and see if it actually works? Come on, let's go and see it in action. Okay. Wow, right. We're, uh, Talk about breaking. See, I knew I was onto something, Iskal, by making that massive hole in. <laughs> oh, oh you still <laughs> haven't fixed it. <laughs> For goodness sake! No, of course I haven't oh. fixed it. 
Well, I've been saying it's just a bold architectural decision. There's also a, a bit of a queue outside. I don't know if you guys have seen. I oh, added this like oh. red ribbon for the grand opening. Yep. Uh, but there's actually. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's a queue outside. We're, we're, we're legit. Oh, my goodness. We're like a big this corporation. Is... All right, come on then. Show me show me how this works. Um, okay. Yeah, the light's stuck. I don't know what's going on there, but they're stuck on the so Oh, no. Someone sent stuff here. Uh oh. Yeah, we have There's... no stock at the moment, is what this shows. Um, right. What, but, someone it, must have thrown it, it, something have you in the sent system. Anything? I, I have not. Anything. I have not. By the second lamp means that it's failed. No, it's found a decoder and then it's failed to shoot out the Schalke box. That's weird. So it must have been an item that it wasn't in the system. What the? So you're telling me that it's broken? Well, it, well no, it was no, not broken. It's, it's just it's just someone sent an item in that shouldn't be sent in to the system. Oh, that's um, not good. <laughs> what? what uh, Green. Uh, yeah. Green. <laughs> I, I think I know what broke Do it. You, have you been pushing? Oh, okay. Is there um You know what? Like I'm just gonna 12, head back here. Is there, is there a... ago, we <laughs> said do not touch any of the redstone. We can make a roller coaster for you, but don't touch any redstone. I didn't touch Everybody... any redstone. I in, I didn't go anywhere near the redstone. I was just looking around, trying to make it work. Mm -hmm. Um I, is there a chest back here by any chance somewhere? No. No. What, what do you mean? What are you where, looking for? Where, uh... Oh my goodness. Is there there's a dropper here? Is that something to do with it? Oh no. No. What about in here? No. Come Look, on, where, where, okay, does, where do the items go? Green. Far. Far. Okay. I suspected this, alright? I've been reading through my YouTube comments, oh, okay? No. And I've heard news about a certain spud that has entered the Sahara system, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and I feel like that spud might actually have your name on it. Yeah, it doesn't have that my is... name on it. It still says baked potato. I thought I could just make it work because there was no... You... I heard you guys had finished Look, from okay. the tech report, so I was like, oh, you know. Sahara we didn't is brilliant. Say, we didn't yeah. say finish. We said brilliant. Yeah, yeah. I, so I Sahara that, is exactly. brilliant. What does doesn't that mean? mean? I thought that meant finish. So I was like, oh, yeah, what if I just throw oh, that in? My... Oh, he's done it again. It works. Oh. I mean, it's broken Look, now. Okay. Oh, there's Sahara two lights now. Sahara is brilliant. Oh, there's two <laughs> oh my lights goodness. now. <laughs> Real question, though. How do we de-potato the Sahara machine? We'll have uh, to I don't know. We didn't plan for this. Okay. Um, we're going to have to rebuild oh. all of it. Right, okay. See you in three months. <laughs> <laughs> get back here and get that potato out of the machine. Oh, so it, it, it's all the way over here somewhere. Yes, it goes yes. all the way. Your um. potato has travelled far, okay. far and wide so to break question, our system. What if a customer decides to throw stuff in there? It doesn't, it won't, it won't matter because... What do you yeah, mean they first won't? Of all, I they was trying not, to make They're not five-year-olds. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're not five-year-olds and uh, the system will be locked, <laughs> like the decoders will be, will be filtered. Oh my... <laughs> yep, there it is. There it is. <laughs> There's a lot of junk in here. I found. I found. What is all that the junk? There was a potato <laughs> jamming the entire thing. I'm going to keep this potato we, forever. We had a spud jam. <laughs> we had a... <laughs> <laughs> right, well, this begs the question, since we're actually in the stock room at the moment, what are we going to stock Sahara with? Because the grand opening is obviously coming soon-ish. And we can't open the whole thing because there's far too many items. So we need to choose very carefully just a select few items to sell. Sand? Obviously sand. <laughs> I feel like I'm yes. the only one that can't do that. You Go can on, do try. it. Try it. <sighs> I'm scared. No, I'm too nervous. No, I've on. got stage fright. Okay, sand? I'm standing behind this. <laughs> sand? Sand? <laughs> oh, he did it. <laughs> he I did really it a little bit me. quietly. Go on, go on. You got to really commit. Sand. <laughs> no, no, that's sand. This is why Green is the receptionist. <laughs> okay, so sand. What else? What else do people um, really want? Rockets, maybe. I, here's a, yeah. Here's not the thing. ice. Rockets. Yeah. Rockets. Uh, golden potatoes. Golden. No, golden carrots. Not potatoes. <laughs> no, don't potatoes. don't put potatoes. We're, potato. <laughs> We're not having more. We're not having more spud jams, all right? <laughs> no okay. potatoes. Ice. Okay. And the pearls. Well, no, yep. not ice. Why would we sell ice? Golden carrots. Because right, everybody anyway, eats yep. them. Yep. Rockets. Rockets. Sand. And then we need something else. Why and, ender and, pearls? And, and, There's and, a... Pods all. Pod, why pods or glowstone blocks? Well, yep. yeah, we could sea definitely lanterns. we could sell we could sell the things that your witch farm makes, like redstone. Yep, redstone, gunpowder, sticks. There we go. 
that the only, nine, the probably. only, the only problem is that the only two people who buy redstone would be you, you and me. Well, let's, ah. let's so, you know, not worry about that. We've got things okay. to sell, so we've got forget our... supply and demand. Yeah, <laughs> okay, just <Yep>. supply. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yep. We've got enough items, but we're a bit limited by something at the moment. And, oh yeah. Uh, I mean, you guys told me we needed an insane amount of shulker boxes, so I went end busting for it, and I got a, a few. But you told me we need like this gal told me we needed one thousand four hundred or something ridiculous. I managed, yep. I got like one hundred shulker boxes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. originally, I think we needed one thousand four hundred. I think now with the re the changing of the system. I Please. How many? Okay, how many shulker boxes do we need? How many do we need? How many do we need? I don't know. I haven't done any. Oh, you just did all I was that just maths. making that up. I was just white noising. Okay, <laughs> I was just filling well, the room, we, making we my cut, voice heard. Okay, stuff. So six hundred. Six hundred. We'll just say so six hundred. Five hundred. Because nice I already number. collected one hundred. We need five hundred okay. shulker boxes. Oh, that's a lot. So plan of action: shulker boxes, grand opening. It's happening. Yes. When? Soon. That's good, Mumbo. That's that's like brilliant. He's getting so there. He's, he's starting soon. to. Yeah. Maybe he's the new tech lead. We need to get him a hard no, hat. Really? Yay! <laughs> How did you have that so on demand? <laughs> hard hat for I'm, safety. I'm, I'm Sahara, dude. Right. Sahara. It blends in too much with your I'm hair, gonna go dude. Make sure the machine is potato <laughs> proof. I'm gonna go and chuck this. Oh in a few, no! Oh, few oh no! No! Sure. No! No! Make sure no. that the is hard hat. If I can shut down Sahara with one potato, you guys aren't doing your job properly. I'm just saying. Hey. I'll chuck it in here. Who gave him a hard hat? Where did it go? There, there it goes. Bye bye, potato. Well, I mean, that yep. could have been worse. That's just going to sit there now. So Don't someone's going to get a potato. Mumble. Oh, that's horrible. Whoa, that's bad, Grian. Who? no, you ruined it. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> just make, make him win. Make him win. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, this does mean that he's going to persevere, doesn't it? Oh, no. Uh, yeah. yeah, i got to find a new place. <laughs> he's to thinking to himself, look. where can oh. I jam a potato that is really going to break Sahara? <laughs> I just want to prove a point. There it goes. It's off. Oh, it's disappeared. Someone, you... I want, that, I, want I, found that, it. I want that potato on my desk by morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so by soon, do we mean just soon? Are we saying vaguely soon? Vaguely soon. Hopefully within the next week, but no promises. Who knows? There might be a potato fiend in Sahara. Okay, should we put that on, on advertising material? We'll open hopefully soon, potentially within this week. Possibly, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Look forward to it. Perfect. Yeah. All right, then. So we have a pretty good plan to get Sahara open and done with, meaning that this ribbon will be coming down soon. <laughs> the reason we're not giving an exact date is because we just don't know how long it's going to take. But one thing that I've been wanting to do for a really, really long time is just make the entrance to this a little bit nicer looking because it is just grass at the moment. And I can see that False has like added a little trail here, but I want to add something a little bit more official to this just so that it's ready for the grand opening. Nothing too over the top, just a big straight line of concrete. Now, if I destroy the blocks underneath these armor stands, is that gonna ruin anything? The last thing I wanna do is get rid of the customers we have in line. It looks, okay, it looks like they stay in the air. Whew, I took a risk and it was worth it. Oh no! Oh, I was so wrong. This just keeps getting worse. I've just, I've just digging myself a hole. Why is there so much sand here? Okay, right. Well, I have to do this the difficult way now. So what I'm going to do is just keep placing this and uh, eventually push it all the way back up to the top. And last one. Ow. What? Why are you spitting at me? No. Bad llama. Bad llama. That was an absolute nightmare. They're still not in the right place, but it's it's better than nothing. At least I've somewhat fixed it. You know, I'm just going to leave it like that. <laughs> I can't put water on this track because otherwise it's going to push all the armor stands. And I don't want to get rid of our customers. Add a few vegetation decorations on the side. And then we can roll out the red carpet. Well, most of the red carpet carpet for all of the people visiting there we go the red carpet has been rolled out it's looking very Christmassy which wasn't my intention but I would say that this definitely helps 
promote the fact that there is a bit of a to-do with Sahara, and hopefully this will start gathering some attention. If it doesn't, we're definitely going to have to go and remind everyone about the grand opening, because we need some of our fellow hermits here to buy some of our stuff. But I think that pretty much does it for Sahara until the grand opening. Of course, I am going to go and have to go end busting with Iskow and Mumbo at some point. We're going to have to organize that. And then when we have enough shulker boxes, there's absolutely no reason why we don't open. Finally. And more people have tried out my course. I know that XI Zuma Void has tried it and Ren has tried it with a terrible score of 2 minutes 44. That's... That's almost double mine. That's pretty terrible. And the diamonds are coming in at a magnificent rate. This is really good news because I can take this business idea to Vex Tank, which is Scars and Cubs little adventure thing. It's kind of like Dragon's Den or Shark Tank where you propose a business idea and then they decide whether they're going to give you financial backing. If we take the idea to them, maybe they'll give us some diamonds to set up the company. But for now, let's head back to the 114 village because I'm guessing that enough time has passed that all the villagers have disappeared again. Alright, we're back. And it looks like there's still tons of iron golems. So many iron golems, I don't even know what to do with all these. Oh my goodness. Something's not right here. Something's definitely not right here. I guess we could just kill them for some iron, but that doesn't make any sense. We'll just leave them there, and... Oh... No. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, it was inevitable, wasn't it? He's right here! Mumbo is, is right there! Look at this! My house is still intact, but Iskow... He isn't even bothered. Wait, this is, is this cheating? This has got to be cheating, right? He hasn't done anything to his house here. He's just built a new house and attached it to a up balloon. This is ridiculous. It's even, this is definitely an up house. Oh my goodness, it, he's actually designed it in, in very Disney fashion. Oh my goodness, so. Does this count? Is this is this fair? I suppose there are no rules. There's no rules on this. So, oh, it makes my house look small now. And what's Mumbo been doing? Sorry, what is going on here? Mumbo has built his house taller than mine. He's got like a platform and he's made, hold on. He's, he's encroaching on my space. He's attached, he's attached this platform to my chimney. I said, oh, I did say that there were no rules. This has just sort of sprung up out, out of nowhere. He's blocking me. He's totally trying to block me. There's no, nah, there's no way. There's no way that this can happen. I'm just going to build around this. Mark my words, Mumbo. This house, this house building competition has only just started. I will get round this tower that you've made. But I think, I think we've got to do something about this because, they're, like, at least Mumbo's playing fair game, right? His is attached all the way to the ground. Iskal has got a big gap. So, I think next episode, we've got to bring this down to where it should be. And we'll figure that out next episode. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Ah, oh. looks like the building competition has officially begun and I'm going to have to build my tower up and a beyond and above that. Ah, oh. well, I'm afraid that's it for me, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Whoa. Whoa, what's this vibration? Look at this. <laughs> Goodbye. Also, 
Here is a very quick trick that we pulled on Mumbo at the end of our Sahara recording. I've pulled this trick on several people and it's amazing how often this works. So let me let me take you in on it. So basically what you do is you say to your friends, do you want to see a magic trick? And they say yes in Minecraft. And you tell them to you tell them to look at you and you press F1 and you log out and it looks like you vanish instantly. This is what happened when we did this to Mumbo. Right. Right, look, look me dead in the eye. Look at yeah. us both. Look press, at us both. Press, press F1. F1. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> that's really, really funny. I'm upset that I wasn't recording then because that's really funny. <laughs> that's a hilarious trick.